Hi folks, this is Mike here. I've been reading 2 Thessalonians 2, the whole chapter. Now, the whole chapter tells us, um, it tells us Paul was informed by God himself that um, the things to come. And, you know, it's not only there, but it's in Luke, it's in Mark, it's in Matthew, it's in Daniel, it's in it's it's in Isaiah, and now it's in Second Thessalonians also. So God tells you, not just in one place, it's in multiple places, and also real Revelation, by the way. I like to read it to you so you know what's going on here. Okay, it's called the Great. Apostasy. Second, now, brother, concerning the coming of the Lord Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, and our gathering together to Him, we ask you not to be not to be soon shaken in mind or trouble, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if for from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for the day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes, exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? You know, Matthew, Luke, Mark, all of them. Uh, and now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the breath of, I'm sorry, and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all the unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for, his, for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in the unrighteousness. You see, Paul said it too. And we've got to go through sorrows and we've got to go through tribulations and we've got to go through the great tribulation and then the rapture comes and then I'm again. So, it's all the truth. I mean, it's right there in front of your eyes if you care to look. Now, God's are, uh, I mean, Satan's already deceived a lot of people. He fed them lies, turn, uh, did everything to turn their heads away from God, not to give him a second glance. The problem is, Satan has his own agenda. But you got to remember, from the start, he wanted to be God. He wanted to be in power. He wanted the power of God. He wanted, he wanted to be lifted up divinely like God. So God tossed him out of heaven and into the pit he went. But from the get-go, he's been causing trouble. He's been deceiving people. And his main one concern is to get as many souls as he can away from God. And uh, 
it's not a pleasure cruise in hell. Okay, once you've accepted Satan, you'll burn over and over when you die. Uh, it's repetitious, uh, fire and brimstone. So no pleasure cruise. You won't get you won't get any of this. Um, you won't get any of this material stuff you're getting out here on earth. He gives it to you for a season. He gives you uh, unrighteous joy for a season. God says that. It doesn't last forever. And he take it away. Take all that joy away. And uh, and then when, when judgment day comes, you're going to go to hell. Because you don't believe in God. You believe in Satan. I mean, an atheist, he, look, if you got to think, if you know there's a hell, there's a heaven. That's the way it works. You can have a good and you're going to have a bad. It's just the way it is. So you gotta know this by now that all these people that are doing bad deeds, evil deeds, uh, their agendas to to uh, to control people's lives, to take put a new currency in the back of your hand or forehead, the mark of the beast. A uh, new world religion, which is Vatican. That's the Pope talking. Pope wants to change the Bible, the King James Version. He wants to change it the way he wants it, and not the way God wants it. And he hasn't the authority to change it in the first place. So, I'm just saying that you got to take a conscious look today. Take a conscious look. And really think about where you're going eternally not here on earth remember whether you whether you believe or not this isn't your home you're going to go elsewhere when you die you're either going to heaven or you're going to hell so I'll leave this with you today and remember I love you all and I hope you made the right decisions I hope you get with God soon and have a blessed day.